Yes, today, I found this stylish jacket and bought it. This is a jacket called Mixed Rich Jacket Ket. And I think everyone is a little worried because it's not very stylish. That's because, for example, this down jacket has extremely high specs. So, if you just look at this, can you tell? Is this a gate ball field? Are you wearing a down jacket on a gate ball field? There are many subdued colors, but black doesn't matter. Among them, the one I was aiming for this year's Nanga was the most stylish one for me. And I saw it when I went shopping at Loft Van the other day, and the moment I saw it, I thought, back quote back quote oh, I'll buy this, and I bought it after asking the size, so, I'm wearing this in size L, and I'm 178 centimeters tall, about 65 kilograms, so as you know, I'm the same height as Namihei from Seizisan, but as I mentioned before, he actually graduated from Kyoto University, and in fact, he was a salaryman, but apparently he made over 10 million yen a year, yes, seriously, so he was highly educated, highly educated at Kyoto University, with a high income of 10 million yen, and tall, he was a super elite, so, I discovered for the first time that Sa San doesn't represent an ordinary family, but rather the ultra high class or ultra poor class, and it was this jacket, the mixed rich jacket, that taught me this discovery, so, the size is L as usual, so I think it's fine to wear it in your usual size, take a look, at first glance, it looks kind of cool, doesn't it, and here is a photo of the model wearing it, and this is it, it's cool, it's a little different from the image I have of it, and if I had to say, the quality is already outstanding, but it's not exactly suitable for waiting, so, please take a look, it's like even if an adult were to wear this, it would look great, anyway, for me, it looks cool, which is what makes it stand out, as for the quality, it's just just something you can't go wrong with, it's just my own image, when I'm wearing a plain jacket, when I go to an izakaya and call the waiter, the waiter doesn't respond, I can't hear you when you say, excuse me, but when I'm wearing a smart outfit like this, if you lower your voice a little and say, excuse me, the waiter will turn around right away, so this mixed rich jacket is a down jacket blanket that won't be ignored by the waiter, so, as for the warmth, I actually tried wearing it and it turned out to be warm, but let's close it up a little, I see, it looks like this when it's zipped all the way up, but when it comes to warmth, it seems like they've thought about every little detail. Well, what I mean is, for example, if you look at the neck, you can see that it's made to fit snugly around the neck so that you don't have to use a scarf around your neck. So, in other words, it's pretty tight around my neck. So, since I'm thin and it fits pretty well, people with thicker necks might have a hard time zipping it all the way up, but it holds it in place, and there's this rubber in the wrist area. The rubber keeps the crease from escaping, and there's rubber in the hem, so it's pretty tightly zipped, so I think it's pretty warm and has good sound insulation. However, the official website description says it's really warm, but I don't think it's like that. Well, if you look at the specs, there's this Nanga gate ball down jacket, isn't there? I think this one is warmer, and the reason is that it covers a fairly wide area. It covers up to this much around the neck, and there's a gap here so that anyone can come. So when you think about warmth and also about being waterproof and windproof, the quality of the down inside is exactly the same. It's exactly in between. I use 770 fill paw, which is exactly in the middle line between 700 power and 800 fill paw. But just because it uses the same fill paw doesn't mean it's the same warmth, and you can adjust the details yourself, such as how much of the neck is surrounded, and how tightly you can close the cuffs with the velcro. When you think about it, if you want something warm, I think it's best to choose this orthodox type. And, of course, it depends a lot on how much is in it. So, of course, the amount of down is important, but so is the quality. So if you're a little worried about the gate ball down jacket, there's the gate ball jacket high model. And then there's the Aurora Light Jacket Blanket, which has a fill power that's increased by one level to 880, and the amount of down is even more. So, no matter how you look at it, the specs are high. So, if you're looking for warmth, I think this one is better, but, well, if you're looking to graduate from Gateball, this one is more stylish, even though it's the same, and if you prefer the hood type, there's another similar one called the Northern Light. So, I was aiming for the Northern Light at first, but I don't really like the neck of the Northern Light. So, wow, I thought it would look cool because the lining is red, but it's no good. Just when I thought I didn't need this hoodie, this new blended rich jacket came out this year. I thought it was good. I bought it, but I don't think it's the kind of down jacket that you can wear in the extreme. So, on the other hand, it's great for wearing in the city center, Osaka City, Nagoya, Fukuoka, Tokyo, and other places. And it's made more for the city, so I think it's pretty easy to coordinate with other things, as I'll say later. So, in terms of warmth, it's just right for wearing in the city. So, if you ask me if it's warm, it's not that warm. And it has a lot of storage capacity. So, how much storage capacity does it have? Well, of course, there are pockets on both sides of the jacket. 
And other than that, there's actually a pocket like this on the chest. And there's also this mesh pocket on the inside. A lot of men don't carry bags around in the winter. For example, some people carry bags like this, but for those who find them a bit bothersome or inconvenient, having lots of pockets like this is extremely helpful, but you can't put anything in it. Well, if you say you could put in it, it would be just your house keys, airpods, and cigarettes. But maybe, if you see someone handing out tissues on the street, of course you don't want to take them. But if the person handing out tissues has a really cute voice, you just can't help but reach out for them. There is a place to put them in when you do. So, it's a down jacket that's just right for when you meet a nice lady. And also when you go to a nice store and get various business cards, you can put them in various places. So you can put the unwanted business cards in the hidden pocket here on the back so that your wife doesn't find out. So it's a place where you can't put anything in it. So it's a place where you can't put anything in it. So it's a place where you can't put anything in it. So it's a place where you can put things. If you combine it with the proper performance, it looks quite mature because it's paired with gray pants. And I think it looks mature because I'm wearing a knitted sweater underneath. But if you wear pants, it will look more casual. For example, right now, this is the style to wear when you go on a date with your wife. I'm sure this will be a hit with women. Your wife will definitely not dislike this. It's very clean and good. No matter how you look at it, she will say it. But when you meet with other men, if your pants get peeled off, it will look a bit military. Well, if you have a year-end party or something, if you leave it out, if you get a slightly military feel, you won't have to look only pretty, but you'll think, back quote back quote oh, this will go well in Kashiwara, and if that's good, well, it's black, so anything goes. So, I want you to see the original feel, but this texture, this matte texture, has never been seen before. It's like, how do I put it? It's shiny, it's crinkly. This is what we old guys were struggling with. Oh, this shine just doesn't go with it. It's a bit difficult. It doesn't go with cargo pants or jeans in particular. The reason is that it has a sporty, outdoor feel to it, so it feels a bit strange. And the next one is all black like this. It's all black, but the only thing that's changed is the material. So the top is supposed to be nylon and the pants are also nylon. But the nylon of the pants is waterproof. That's right. So, it's waterproof nylon and a bit cotton-like. But the texture is a bit different. The top isn't waterproof. So it's really cotton-like. And it's all black. But it's like the materials are combined like this. I think it's good. So, what do you think of the image? Well, it's really nice to go out and enjoy it, or to go to an amusement park with your family. And you can go there easily, even if it rains. So I think this is a good thing. If you go out with your kids, or when you play with your kids or walk your dog, your wife will also be happy if you wear it like this. You can reuse it, you can play with your kids, she can walk your dog, you can wear it to a drinking party with friends and you can wear slacks on a date with me. So it's pretty easy to wear. I introduced it because it was cool, and the price is only 49,500 yen, so I think it's a relatively low price compared to other brands. Now, normally, if you say a line, it's about 60,000 yen, I think it's the baseline, but high-end models cost 100,000 yen, but a cheap model is about 50,000 yen, so this is a relatively cheap model, so I think it's good in terms of cost performance, which I was going to say later in the benefits, but there are also disadvantages. I'm going to talk about what disadvantages there are, but this is good, so I think a look at other colors, right? I looked at other colors. Take a quick look. The old man is calling it a gateball dam again, but when you think about it, the other colors are always gateball colors, so the colors you can choose from are a little limited. I think black is perfectly usable, but the skin of the oysters you see online is a little different from the skin of the actual oysters. The reason for that is, I talked about this a little while ago, but the single lens camera that you're looking at now is very difficult to produce the color green. So, the color tends to be gray or a little too green, so it doesn't come out like this. So, even when I'm looking at it now, I think the color I see is a little different. So, I don't know if I actually look at it, but I think it's going to be a gateball down jacket, so I think black is the only option. Well, it's fine for people who like it, but I think black is the only option for most people. I don't like it, so I think it's black, but in other respects, it's a relatively low-priced item among the Nanga line. So the specifications are quite simple. Well, what I'm saying is, for example, there's elastic around the wrist, but there's nothing to adjust it, so there's quite a bit of space. I think it would be very comfortable to wear if I could adjust it so that it fits a little better, but there are no zippers on these small parts, and on the pockets. This is where the elastic is. It's made with elastic so that it stretches like this. But this is what happens when you get drunk at a drinking party during the New Year holidays and don't know what's in your pockets, right? You can't remember if you put a receipt in or where you put your house keys. So that's the disadvantage of having a lot of pockets. You start to forget where things are. And even more so if you do this, you don't get very used to it. But there's no zipper or snap buttons. 
so there's a chance that you'll drop it. So, when you drop it, it's when you say to the store clerk who puts your jacket in the pocket, and you hand it over like this, it turns inside out, or, well, when the store clerk holds it like this, it turns inside out and something falls out. It would be nice if it fell in front of me, but if it was dropped in the back closet, I wouldn't know what was there. So I personally am a bit concerned about the pocket here being in this mess, and, well, if it was elastic, I think it would have been better to make it a bit tighter, it's always open, it's like, if you want to wear it in one shot, it's going to be like this, so, well, I personally am concerned about it, and I don't think it's for people who want it for a long time, well, it's not this type, but rather, it's more like a trend right now, well, the feel of the fabric is intentionally trendy, and the style is a bit trendy, so it's not a standard item that you can wear for a long time. So, on the other hand, if you ask what a standard item is, this is the other way around. Why? Of course it's adjustable and seems like a small detail, but if you look at the down jacket, you can see that it's fluffy. So what happens if this fluffy thing gets wet? When it gets wet, it becomes flat like this. Of course, when it becomes flat, it loses its warmth and looks flat like this but this jacket is not waterproof. So, it does have some water repellency, but if you plan on wearing it for a long time, this waterproof fabric is more durable. So if you are looking for a down jacket that will last a long time, I think this waterproof jacket will last longer. But on the other hand, if you are looking for someone who will recommend it, it is because each ball of down is treated with water repellency. This can actually be achieved by improving the down. On top of that, if you pay an option, you can have the down coated, and for example, you can paint it in this state. And of course you can paint the down, right? When that happens, the down itself has a water repellent effect. So you can say that you can't paint the down, but this is just water repellent, so it doesn't last forever. So if you take it out for a season or even once or twice for cleaning, the water repellent effect will gradually decrease, and it's no longer possible to make the down water repellent. It's possible to make the surface of the down fabric water repellent because it's already in a down pack, but to make the down itself water repellent, you have to ask the company that washes the down to do it, and that's a request that you make before making it. So, since the water repellent treatment has to be done in this state, the water repellent effect doesn't last long, but I think they probably do that for all the down jackets. If they had to do this and that, it would cost more, so it's a good thing that all the down jackets are water repellent. So even if they get a little wet, it's made so that there's no problem. So, in terms of cost performance, it's 770 fill. Well, Uniqlo is now releasing 750 fill. So to be honest, I don't feel the amazingness of the fill anymore. But it was originally a sleeping bag company, right? It's not a gateball company. Since it's a sleeping bag company, it's the pocket construction that is unique to sleeping bags, and the quality of the down, and it's decided to use European down. But when it comes to Uniqlo, I don't know where they use the down. I guess it's probably from China or Taiwan, so I can guess that it's somewhere like that, but if you think about it like a down jacket, it's good value for money because they use European quality down. Good quality, but not just looking at the fill, but also the down, well, it's pretty good. Well, if you go even further, there's goose down, so it's not that different, but it's pretty good quality, and it's also water repellent. So, like a sleeping bag, it has pockets and lots of storage, and it's designed to be trendy, and for the price of 49,500 yen, I think it's good value for money. So I don't know what the store clerk is saying. For example, this is already 10 years old, or maybe 20 years old, I don't know, but to give you an idea, it might last 5 years, or some people might last 1 or 2 years, but the current shape seems to be the trend, so I think it was made to match that. Well, if you're concerned about that, I also make down jackets, but mine are not waterproof. It's only treated for water, so if you're concerned about that, for example, if you buy something like this, and if you shake it and give it a water repellent treatment, it won't get wet at all if it's just a small amount, so it'll bounce off, so it's fine, and when you put it on, it will stain as a reminder. So, in that case, which is best, for example, shaking it once into a tissue, wetting it with the tissue, and wiping it with it is the least likely to cause rashes and is the most reliable way to process it yourself. So if you want to process it, all you have to do is spritz it with the spray, so it's not that difficult. Spray it on, and hang it out in the shade for a bit. Then hang it out in the sun. If you hang it out in the sun, it will really tarnish. That's true no matter what you do. It's not about being outside or dry, but even clothes will tarnish if you keep it in the sun, so please be careful. Today, I think it's easy to use, it's cost effective, and it's easy to wear, and it's not that different from wearing Nupsi. I think wearing it is easy to use. So, you can only buy one, you can only have one. In that case, well, if you choose something other than a down jacket like this, I think this one will last a long time, putting aside the appearance for a moment. 
so I decided to introduce a rich mix. I'm thinking of making a section soon where I'd like to recommend some scenes from this Nanga, or where this Na is recommended here, but this Na is also recommended here, so please look forward to it. So, today's video is an introduction to some down jackets. See you again in another one. Thank you. Ah.